It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, June 22nd. I'm James Spann. Tropical Storm Cindy is inland well to the west of the state, but we feel the effect with the chance of flash flooding today and also a few isolated tornadoes today. So very busy weather conditions. Let's go in there and check it out. Cindy is located west of the state. It moved inland early this morning. That's the water vapor satellite view. Let me just show you the uh, uh, precipitable water coming off the GFS valid early this morning, and that tells a story. Uh, you can see uh, deep moisture right around Cindy, but a really impressive fetch of moisture from the deep tropics pointed right into Alabama. And that obviously is going to set the stage for a lot of rain today. That was the radar at 458. And understand, there'll be breaks in the rain today, but it would come, when it comes down, it's going to pour. And uh, we note uh, Lowndes County is under flash flood warning early this morning. We'll probably see more of those today. There's a surface analysis, and uh, Cindy, the center is over there right around the uh, Sabine River on the Texas-Louisiana border, but the effects extend well to the east, and again, we seem to be really the area with the highest precipitable water with this thing. So uh, we got the threat, obviously, of uh, flooding. That's the uh, flash flood watch early this morning that covers much of central West South Alabama. This includes Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, Demopolis, Mobile. Uh, early this morning, flash flood warnings in effect for parts of Lowndes, Butler, Crenshaw, Covington, Conecuh, and Escambia counties down in uh, South Alabama. And of course, uh, we've got the threat of isolated tornadoes. We've talked about that today. Here's a tornado watch. This is until 1 o'clock this afternoon. This includes Sumter, Green Hale, Perry, Dallas, Atauga. Montgomery, Lowndes counties, and then counties south down toward Mobile, Atmore, Andalusia, Op, and parts of the Florida Panhandle, Pensacola, and Fort Walton Beach. Also, the tornado watch in effect for much of central and south Mississippi, southeast Louisiana. And uh, these things are going to be tough. Uh, as we've talked about, they typically are the short-lived tornadoes that don't last for more than a few minutes. And by the time the warning goes out, they're often lifted. And again, because of the low top nature of these things, a lot of the tornadoes are literally under the radar beam. Uh, you can see now the SPC guys have much of the state with a severe weather risk. The standard slight risk for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, down to Mobile, a marginal risk as far east as Andalusia and Lafayette. And tomorrow, again, same deal. We've got the chance of a few isolated tornadoes for the northern half of the state. Our good news for our friends down south, they could use a break. Got the standard slight risk basically along and north of Interstate 59, a marginal risk down to Clanton. Then on day three, which is Saturday, no severe weather expected, at least organized here, a marginal risk east of the state for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. Additional rain, additional rain. Uh, this is for the next uh, seven days, two, three inches for much of the state. And again, uh, the, the good news, after Saturday, things look pretty dry for a few days. In fact, amazingly dry early next week. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the 06C run, valid this afternoon at 1 o'clock. This is at 500 millibars. The main westerlies are up north. You can see Cindy to the west down below that. The remnant circulation is on the Texas Louisiana border and a deep moisture plume all across Alabama. Just waves of rain today. Rain heavy at times. Flash flooding a possibility. And again, this is the SRH, the storm relative helicity values. And you can see that they're pretty darn high for a summer over Alabama. And that certainly suggests the chance of a few isolated tornadoes uh, this afternoon. And uh, this is a look at the updraft helicity product suggesting, again, potential for a few tornadoes here. So just keep an eye on the sky. Pay attention to warnings. Tomorrow, the uh, remnant circulation of Cindy is uh, between Memphis and Little Rock, and really it's the same thing, especially for the northern half of the state. Now, I don't think we see the rain as widespread tomorrow. We'll have occasional showers and storms. And again, the storms across the northern half of the state could drop an isolated tornado or two. So pay close attention tomorrow. Now, Saturday, the circulation of uh, Cindy is long gone. It's up there around New Jersey, and a surface boundary begins to drop in from the north. So, uh, again, Saturday should be pretty wet and unsettled with occasional showers and storms likely. It won't rain all day, but it's going to rain certainly at times. But look at that. On Sunday, dry air begins to take over for the northern half of the state. We'll mention only a small chance of a shower. 
High in the middle 80s, and Monday looks nice. Lower humidity. In fact, Monday morning, I think we're going to see some spots going in the 50s. That's going to feel good. The high Monday only in the low to mid 80s. A very comfortable day. This is Tuesday, dry as could be. No showers. Lows around 60. Highs in the 80s. And Wednesday, we're still dry. Can we make it Thursday? Let's take a look. Here's the upper chart a week from today. Westerlies are up north, flat ridge here. And yes, we're still dry. So for the moment, it looks like we could very well go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no rain, five days, which is very odd for June. Very comfortable, too. Lower humidity and cool nights. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday, the 1st of July. Summer rolling along, troughing to the north. Surface boundary north office, that looks very typical. Uh, maybe a few scattered afternoon showers and storms there, partly sunny. And look at the numbers, how amazingly refreshing. Uh, the, the Europeans showing 59 Wednesday morning of next week. But really, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning will all feel great. Temperatures below average during the day with only low to mid 80s. But we do see low 90s creeping back up in here toward Independence Day. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.